Lights and Sphere program. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this episode, we are going to make some red science. We have a crude oil um, vein right here. So let's go ahead and clear some of the foliage around it uh, because we're going to need a lot of this space here. I kind of wish it was lighter. One of the things that I think would be great uh, to add to this game would be lights. Um, I love the look at night with all of like the different structures, but I think it's really hard to see on YouTube. So I'm hoping that the devs add some kind of like either screen lightning thing or um, I don't know, or lights, just lights by themselves. That would be kind of amazing, I think. Um, so anyway, let's see. We have a lot of stuff here. We have plenty of fuel. We have prisms. We have all the things and all the stuffs. And we have a single solar panel as well. We can probably just put that out somewhere and um, we'll get those going. So let's see. We can put that wherever it fits. We don't know. Between maybe these guys. There we go. And that's fine. And we're going to go ahead and put down our oil extractors. I think. Do we have one made? Not yet. Let's click this and produce. Let's make four. Uh, oh, we are already making four. Apparently our crafting queue just didn't finish. So let's go ahead and fix, uh, not fix, but pick up some items from the mall. Um, let's see. It's over here. I mean, it does look cool at night, but man, I really would wish for some little bit brighter stuff things. Okay, so let's see. We have this. Let's go ahead and put that back in and grab a few of these. Uh, there we go. Take these other bits and pieces down here. All right, yeah, all of these little ores that we do not need at the present moment, but we do have quite a few titanium ore, which is great because that is gonna help us uh, later before we can get to other planets. We're going to need to convert that. Uh, or, well, at least we have a head start on it. I'm not sure what the order of that is going to be, whether we're going to go and set up an outpost or what. But um, in any case, we just need to start doing some, some mining here. So let's get our thingies out. They are completed. Um, and what I'm thinking is we can have this thing arranged this way and then put down some of our uh, oil refineries down here possibly up there as well. I don't know how much material we have, how much coal. Okay, that should be enough after we get all of these guys sorted. We do have plenty of refineries. We've got 20 made, which is great. That uh, is going to make our lives a lot easier. There we go. Now then, let's see. We have how much of this is tapped? Eh enough for maybe one more array. I guess we could put one set of oil refineries here, but let's just put it down here for now. I think that's a better option. So let's go ahead and get these guys out now. Oil refineries make product in, there's a couple of different ways. There's this, plasma refining, which is two oil makes uh, two refined oil and one hydrogen. And there's another recipe we really want to go for. It's called X-ray cracking. Uh, where is that? Let's find out. It's right here. So we're all primed to get that. This is what I think I want to make this our uh, first red science thing. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cue this. What this does is it takes two hydrogen plus one refined oil and turns it into magically one carbon uh, graphite and three hydrogen. So um, this is kind of a nice little looped process here that's going to give us exactly the ingredients we need for red science, which is one graphite and one hydrogen. So let's go ahead and, and cue that and uh, that will be our first red research. I feel like it's really important at this stage. So uh, anyway, what I would like to do here is make, um, we need a belt going here for the oil to come out or to uh, come down. And then we need our refineries. Let's go ahead and align them this way, I think. And then we'll have two belts in the middle. So let's see, one and two. Okay. And then we'll this put this here. Oh, they're getting misaligned again. It's okay, though. You can use tab or the arrow keys on the right side of the keyboard to quickly set the filter when building the sorter. <laughs> that is so weird. Uh, yeah, we're having, yeah, a sorter, huh? 
we, we had that yesterday, I think, or earlier, whatever episode it was. Jeez, okay. Interesting. But in any case, we want to set this up, and of course we need to leave room for some power poles. I think if we do, can we do one like right here, and that'll cover it? So we don't have to do it on both sides? Possibly. Let's see if that works. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Oh. Okay. Set up some more. Uh, with this uh, many... Excuse me. Go away. Shoo! Go away, thing! Alright, that's fine. We'll just have them a tiny bit aligned here. And then, let's see if we get these guys here. And, oops, it's doing a weird thing again. Come on. With this, we may actually need more power poles. I'm not sure. But it's okay. We're, we're just kind of testing this. The grid system is a tiny bit wonky with stuff. But it's okay. Alright, and now we're going to get our other oil line on this side. Okay, so this is great. Starting out with eight... Uh, things. This may be too much for the supply. We're just going to have to check. Uh, but we can always add more um, oil things to this system. So that's not a problem at all. Let's see. We want to do a thing. Hmm. Uh, I think what we're going to do is probably a splitter. So let's go ahead and do this. One thing that I found out about splitters today, so this is why Discord is great, and feel free to come on over and chat if you want to share pictures, thoughts, whatever, is that you can press tab, and he just said that, but I think I missed that in my first playthrough. So you can get different sorters or different splitters made. There's uh, several different variations. Like, so for ex example, in this one, if you put product in the bottom, it'll also come out of the top as well. So I think that's really great, and I, I'm guessing this is why the hitbox on splitters are, is so high. I know a lot of people have been complaining about that, um, where you put belts over the top of this one, and it looks like, oh my gosh, why is it so high? It's because I think these variations are taller. So anyway, uh, this is a cool way to, um, you have all these different options of using these splitters, and I think what we're going to do is just use them maybe here. Yeah, let's just X this, put it a tiny bit closer, one there, and one um, there, in case we have another line going that way. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, belts going. Belts go, 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 go. We're just going to split this evenly for now. So this can go this way and that way, and we'll just delete this extra piece there. Oh, looking good. Happy days are here again. So we'll get this thingy thingy over here. Yep, there we go. And then this should start doing some stuff. So let's get our uh, inserters in here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, that was weird. Apparently I forgot to put more belts down as well, so let's just do that. Alright. Get these guys going. Alright, so one of these is going to be for hydrogen, and one of them is going to be for the refined oil. And we can see that this is not a full belt coming in. It's just a partial one. So we'll probably add another thing depending on how fast the processing of this is. Uh, and these guys are going to start filling up, but not too far. They're, they have a limit to how much they'll hold. So we need to get this out on the belt. So I think what we'll do is we'll click this. And if you notice, we have a filter here. And I'm going to choose uh, the refined oil to be on this belt. Okay. And then we're going to have the hydrogen on the next belt. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shift click these, the sorter, where it says sorter. And you can do that and it will copy the filter to the next one. So I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, align these guys. So... We just do one product at a time so I don't confuse myself. Goodness knows that that can happen. Okay, so then we'll get our uh, hydrogen. 
Don't click too close to the machine or you'll do what I just did. So this is going to be this. And that one goes across. Nice. So we have everything going on the correct belt. Be very careful in this stage because it's very easy to contaminate your belts this way. So anyway, um, we have our eight refineries. This is fantastic. Um, again, let's look at the red cubes. We need the uh, graphite and we need hydrogen. So two of each make one red cube. Uh, we're going to have to do something with the petroleum. And I think the best thing to do with it is probably put it in a tank for now. Do I have a tank with me? I do. It's right here. Um, and I think, do I want to leave some more room? Maybe we'll leave a tiny bit of room. I'm not sure how far these will go. Maybe I should put it up above this just in case. Yeah, that'll be better. I think that's better. And then we'll just... You built a storage tank. So that we have room so this will store the liquids and these can be stacked of course like all storage containers and i'm going to take this uh hydrogen over to our um yeah to our makers over here because that's what we're doing okay and then hydrogen i think we'll just have it go in this slot no this one the second one because we do have the graphite to put in here as well. Let's go ahead and put in our inserters. I seem to have forgotten that part of this. Let's go in, in, and this one goes there. And output goes there. And I also forgot to hook this up to our machines there. So let's go ahead and go up this way. Just follow this very bright colored line there. And I think, I think we'll just do something like this. Get rid of that power pole and go up and down. So these guys can both get the red uh, stuff. There we go red cubes and power pull back up or wind machine that sounds fine okay and then I'll get my bots to fix all this other stuff come on guys go for it there we go there we go I'll put a couple more wind machines on here it's always good to have some oops God, I should put that one closer to the water. All right, nice. Not sure I even have a connection back to the base. I don't think I do. So it's good to actually put these along here. Probably where we're never going to build stuff. Though here I, I have plans for. Alright, let's go bots. Come on. Go, go. There we go. Gosh, it's already dark again. I kind of wish that the, the day cycle was a little bit longer. <laughs> I feel like I'm spending most of my time in the dark here. It's like, no, no, why? Alright, come on bots. Get going. And now we can actually get the carbon or the graphite up here as well and we already have that made so it is right here actually oops alt keys are in a weird position there one thing that's really nice about this game is when you are doing the belts like here in Factorio you would have to be like oh my gosh I have to make the belt turn but this doesn't explicitly connect them unless you explicitly connect them which is kind of nice I like that okay so let's get this and we're gonna have to move <laughs> these very newly placed power poles because I did not think ahead on this and take them that way I'll have our bots start to construct those while I'm replacing the power poles there we go. Nice. Works. All right. 
all this stuff is coming. This is so exciting. We're, we're getting stuff going here. We're going to have red science imminently. It's so close. Then we can start researching some fun and cool and interesting things. There we go. Looks like we need another power pole over there. Or a wind machine. Hello? No. No wind machines fit. So power pole it's going to be. Nice. Oh, this is great. Did we get any stackable height? No, I think that comes with red science. Okay, let's go. Come on, bots. Let's go, 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 go. And we're going to get stuff going. Uh, one thing that we don't have yet is... We don't have this thing being fed at all. So what I can do here is put... I don't know if a splitter would fit here. You know what? Let me check. Let me check real quick. Would a splitter fit there? Or do we need space? If I did this... Like that... Is there space for this line to go in? No, it can't go... Oh no... Um... Hmm... Let's see, if I do it one earlier... Um... Let's see... Try that... Like this... Let's just see how these things function... Um, okay, so we need to do this one around slightly. Come on. What you doing? Why? Okay, that collides, so we don't want to do colliding. But we can go around like this. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, this one can be going like this. Yeah, that will work. We can just take it around that way. Oh, that's nice. That actually works quite nicely. Uh, the other option I was thinking about, of course, was to bring this one around this side and have just a bridgey thing over here. And that would work too. I mean, there's many ways to spaghetti this thing together. So I think that's working quite well. And we're now getting a very nice production of red cubes. But um, I'm wondering, maybe we should just add another set. Maybe just add one here so that we can just keep on keeping on and get more red cubes going on. Uh, one thing I did forget though is the oh, oh, here? Yes. Okay, good. I did forget to do a buffer, buffer box, and I think I'm going to put the buffer box close by oopsies. Alternate. Alt, alt, alt. Um... Let's do the buffer box here. Uh, one reason for having the buffer box uh, right here is that... Um, let's respect the shoreline. Jeez, who built this thing? <gasps> um, yeah. Uh, is so that if we have stuff in our inventory, we can quickly know where it goes. So... That makes it easier to be like, oh my gosh, where is the yellow box? Where did that one go? Um, one of the things I want to do also is block off one of the spaces to have that extra space of inventory where you can just dump it in. Okay, we need a power pole there. Good. Okay, very nice. Okay, so that's working. There's something here. Oh, these are, yeah, huh? that's not, not good. Let's take this one off and put this power pole here instead. I didn't realize the other one was covering that. Okay, we are now researching stuffs and things. This is fantastic. Okay, so these guys are producing stuff. We do need to get this one to have an output. That is not something. One of the things that I think we'll do is just have a temporary belt because um, these things when we stack them higher, we're really not going to need more than one tower. So this is very temporary to have this many towers for stuff. So this is going to be, yeah, replaced later with just one. And that is something we can actually research as well. 
let's see, hydrogen fuel rods are 400 of that. These, we definitely need these motors, these uh, electromagnetic turbines. They're going to help us with some other stuff. These processors, oh, I should have been researching that while we were waiting. Let's see, photon frequency conversion. We really want to get the solar sails going on. So let's go ahead and get that. This thing requires those engines. It also requires the processors and the fancy thingy thingies, whatever those are called. Is it those? These. Okay, so these are both required to get the solar stuff going on. So that will be fine for now. I want to get... These guys can... These we definitely need. Those we don't need yet. Mm, this is for yellow science. Uh, processors, that's what we need. Okay, so let's take that. I want to see if there are any upgrades that we can get that would help us a lot. Like inventory capacity. Mechanical frame would be good. Mecha core. Yes, that would be good as well. And more drones. Yes. All right. And I think that that's going to be what we have for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to work on some things that are for the uh, solar uh, thing. But we also want to work on this x-ray cracking. Because that is something that is definitely going to make our lives so much better. So let's go ahead and start setting that up. We have only 96 science packs to wait for that. So we have plenty of time to get things going. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have, um, let's see, we want to probably feed the petroleum from one side and then have the, we need two places in the middle. Yeah. Or we could have all three belts in the middle. That would be fine too. No, that wouldn't be. Oh, well, what we should do is have the hydrogen on the outside. That's right. And the reason for that is so that we can have very, very quick transfers. And you'll see what I mean after I do this. So let's go ahead and get our belts going on. And one of these is going to be petroleum and one is going to be the uh, graphite that's going to come out. Let's get these going as well. Okay, very nice. I guess I can place these guys down. This will be the graphite coming out, I think. And then that one will be the petroleum. Kind of hangs out. Oh my gosh, we have lack of belts, really? Wow. That's one of the things that will make your life better is making a belt store in the mall or belt production and store in the mall. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's get grab these and we'll just grab the whole thing. Yeah, might as well. And anything else we could use? Probably a half a stack of these guys. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Ah, yes. And then we can drop off our greenery and other random stuff. This is going to be used very shortly. I'm very excited about that, personally. Uh, we could probably burn that in our suit. The hydrogen. So we'll leave this at the end and then use the rest of the graphite. Okay, and here we go. Did we get the x-ray? We did get the x-ray cracking. Okay, so this is such a cool, cool thing. Um, all right, let's choose this. And that enables us, as I said, to just use petroleum to make exactly needed products. And that means we can use the graphite for something else, the, the stuff that we already have. Oh, wait, what's going on here? There we go. Okay. Good. So now that we have all of these sorted out, uh, I want to get the inserters going. So we'll go ahead and do our output inserters. So this one we decided is the graphite. And then the input is going to be from here. Input. And then this one is going to be the output graphite. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. 
Just get the graphite going really quickly. Oh, we have a cat. Hello, my Emma. Okay. And grab this belt and make that longer and this one longer as well. Okay, let's do the input inserters then as well. This is going to be petroleum coming in on this belt. Oh, that's wrong. That one is just going to transfer belt to belt, and life is going to be a heck of a lot worse. Whoopsies. There we go. No. Oh, there we go. So, um, this one to that one. There we go. Now then, um, eh, oh, this is so exciting. I can't, I, I love this process. This is so good. It's so useful. So good. So fun. And I think we can just put this somewhere. Let's see. This is the graphite coming out. So we'll put that there. Oh, this is not enough for a power pole. Oh no. Well, that's one of the things that's a tiny bit frustrating is the, um, yeah, the way that works, because now I have to move both of these machines, and that is not good. I should have put a power pull down, but I thought, okay, I'm going to skip one space. It should be enough. Nope, apparently it's not enough. So that's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Oh, well. It'll be fine, though. It will be fine. Okay, so let's get our sorters again. So this is the graphite coming out. Yep. And then this one goes there. It's not a big deal. We just have to add a couple more inserters. But I wish that that was just a tiny bit more consistent. Okay, and then petroleum in. Okay. Now, since this is a self-feeding process, right, we have the... Um, let's see, is there a way to look at, see this recipe? No. I think we have to go back here and look at it here. So, we feed it to hydrogen... And then it outputs three. So what we need to do is we need to output the hydrogen here on the first one and then input it back again. So it's out in in. We'll just go ahead and get that one going. And make sure you put the output uh, before the inputs on the belt because this is not gonna be hooked up to anything else. So if these have no input, they can't make hydrogen. Okay, there we are. Nice. See, because we have very little hydrogen on the belt currently, so it's really a great great thing to be able to um, actually we should what we do want to do is get the hydrogen uh, and kind of suck it up a bit <laughs> so we can start these processes and all we need to do really is start it on the very first machines and then the others will propagate from those so that's what I'm going to do here is it how do we um, see quick construction mode that's not what I wanted I want to shift click no is it control? Oh yeah, it's right click on that. So let me just go ahead and give this one this one. And we are actually set to go now. We are absolutely set to go. So um, let's see, the petroleum is gonna come in on this line here. Oopsie, copy this way. And I think we need to build a little bridgey thing here for this. So go there and hello. I don't know why sometimes I'm pressing shift click, but it just doesn't want to click. Uh, so that's kind of strange. All right, there's our little bridgey thing. Oh wait, that's not right. I want to have that at ground level. And where did our, oh wow, it's all, all, all over there. Okay, I lost our petroleum tank for a bit. But I have found it now. So what I think I want to do here is add a splitter there. 
and we're going to take this stuff out and go there and I think this is going to be our um, preferred location because we might have to burn some if it gets to be too much petroleum wow we have so much we have so much liquid there oh this is great though look at this it's already working oh you could see we had some stuff going on there hooray okay let's get our power pole up here and which side was it on uh doesn't matter this side is fine and now we need to do two things we need to get the these guys joined up and then both of them need to oh graphene hooray that's great both of them need to enter these main lines so what we're gonna do is hmm, should we leave more space for machines i guess we can let's go ahead and take this this way just down a bit and then maybe have it join up here so we'll just wait for these guys to go by and then take that off so what we want to do here is add a splitter or we could do a simple kind of uh, structure but i think splitter might be better let's see well it doesn't actually matter which is better um, i don't know if either is better as per se but this will give us a little bit more sort of precise control perhaps so we want to have this being the primary input so basically use from this first and then take from the other area now then this whoa no that's not what we wanted to do at all okay well then i didn't notice that it went on the second level apparently i didn't press tab to change the configuration to that that's what i wanted instead okay there we go Go in there and go in there and we're not getting any red science made yet so let's see these two need to join up and then join this system ah <sighs> okay let's just take this this way what we can do is just go that away go up a tiny bit here let's see no no not there not there that is too close there maybe 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 um and it's got to join up there so if we do something like this um no we don't want to do that at all do we let me see this this that went very strangely there huh let me see we want to Hold on, let me just X this for a second and think about how we want to do this. So we do need a space here to add a splitter. So let's just X. Well, there's another thing that we can do as well. We can do a double height thing here. Actually, that might be better. Uh, let's take this one and align it this way. Nope. That's weird. I copied this one and it didn't give me the correct variation. Huh. That's really strange. Okay, so let's see. We want to have this one on the ground uh, floor. Actually, it doesn't matter where it comes in. It really doesn't. Except this one is going to be a tiny issue, isn't it? Urgh, why you do this to me thing? It's my own it's my own design doing it to me actually at the moment because we have this and that is not where we want it i can put this one in there but this is gonna have to go around that machine or we could put it around that side because i think we can take if we get this belt we can go can we go there no so that actually has to be moved further to be there. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely going to be more spaghetti than than I wanted, but it's okay. It's just fine. So that's fine. Well, 
What I can do is I can put this one uh, onto here. Let's see, we want to go this way and then up like that. Okay. And then this one, what we can do is just prioritize this one onto this lane. Uh, let's just take one more. Actually, that would be okay. Because what happens is if you sideload a belt, it will automatically prioritize the other one. Uh, the straight line. So that works quite well, I think. I think that's fine. And here, we, I guess we prioritize this one, maybe? Since that one has material from both edges. Uh, or maybe we should prioritize the other one because it doesn't. Yeah, we'll prioritize that one instead. Okay, so this should work quite nicely. We should be getting the red in spades. This is absolutely fabulous. We got all of these things working quite nicely here. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works pretty decently. Um, the cool thing about this game is the verticality and all of the funky constructions you can do with stuff. And I'm really, really liking that aspect of it. Okay, let's see what else we have now uh, available to craft. We do need to get this graphene done because that's going to help us with getting our solar sails going on. Uh, I'll show you where that is in the tech tree. Uh, yes, yeah, solar sail orbit system. So these guys are made from graphene and this plasma stuff. And the plasma stuff is made from prisms, which we already have made. And then we can also make the uh, uh, green chips. So I think we might make those. Let's see. Green chips require... They require iron and copper. So I'm thinking we can just make them up by the prisms, perhaps? Uh, or maybe we should just look for iron and copper close together. If we look at our map with M, M for goddess mode, remember? Uh, we have copper and iron here. And ideally, I would like to launch them from the South Pole because I believe that... Let me just look at this and see if we can tell. Five degrees orbital inclination. Uh, or no, we, we're looking at the axial inclination, not the orbital inclination, I think. So... We're looking at how this aligns with our sun. So this is most interesting. Really? So let's see. This is, oh, that's me. So this is our, this is our planet. I'm trying to align this. This is north, I believe. So I think that means that the south pole is probably... No, it's not, is it? It's hard to tell. Jeez. Ah, uh, this is our orbit here, um, according to this guy. So we actually have to kind of look. But it does look like the North Pole has constant sunlight. Uh, so that's something uh, we need to kind of uh, take into consideration. Whereas the South Pole is almost fully dark. So I think that that means we need to have our Dyson collectors at the North Pole because it is constantly light up there. And we can probably shove all of this uh, material up in that direction. So where are we? We are in the darkness now. Great. <laughs> Great. Um, but it also means we probably would like to landfill quite a lot of this area. So maybe that's something we can set up right now is some uh, landfill. I think, let's see, what is it made out of? Is it made out of plain stone or... Um, it's made out of steel and processed stone. Okay. So I think what we'll do is go from this line here and just build an assembler to make this stuff. I'll just build one and then we're going to make a landfill. I normally don't do this and I don't really like to have so much uh, going on, so much um, landfilling. But um I'm, i gotta say that you know what we need we need things we need the stuff we need okay so how do i want to get steel over there steel is actually quite far away what i could do is just fill part of my inventory with steel and just take it over because this is not gonna need to be a permanent thing at all yeah this is really far away so i think we'll we'll just get a whole bunch of um and then even more from the smelters Let's grab it from there. And I think I'm going to increase the box size for the steel. 
or the the, um, the number of rows that we're saving so that we can get more made. We'll just have a little bit to dump back in in case we don't need any. So we'll go up here and just feed this from a box, I think. Because I really don't see, like, making mountains and mountains of landfill uh, in general. Whoops, I keep pressing space accidentally. I think my keyboard, I have to realign it. Uh, Alright, so I'll take this box and maybe I'll just put it here. Oh, no, no. Okay, we'll put the steel in there. And put another box over here. One away. There we go. And then we're going to check the ratios real quick on that. Uh, let's see how many inserters for each. Let's see. This stuff is one steel. Yeah, that's perfect. So we have two inserters getting steel and then one getting... Well, actually what we could do is change this a tiny bit so that we have the inserters a little bit differently there. Really? Okay. That That's one way to get rid of inserters. <laughs> Yes, that is definitely a way to get rid of inserters. <laughs> Jeez, game. Come on, game. Play with me properly. Come on. Okay, there we go. We'll get that that way instead. And then we'll have this insertion going there. And I think we'll have maybe... I don't know how much. Uh, one and a half rows. It's hard for me to tell exactly how much stuff this is. Um, but one thing that's interesting is if you look at the environment modification... You can um, lay foundation with no decoration or lay foundation with decoration um, and flatten the surface to zero altitude. You have a vein restore thing um, where you can, I guess you can lay it over veins. I've never tried to do that because I, I like my veins uh, where they are, the ore veins. So, but anyway, that is something important to get this fixed because as you see, it is light most of the time and that is where we're going to have our Dyson Sphere stuff going on. So, uh, because the shooters can only shoot if they see the ring, or I guess in sunlight. That's what I've kind of experienced at least before. Okay, let's look again and find out if we can get some, let's see, copper. Uh, we can use this copper down here and this iron, I think, to make those green chips. So, let's see. How many of each do we need? If we need a full thing of... I guess six, um, six smelters is enough. So let's see, we'll get the mining going on. Oh, I need more miners. Let me go and pick up some miners from the mall. What is that? It's a water pump. We're not going to need that yet. Soon, but not yet. So soon, soon, soon. But I think, um, I'm looking at the time now and I think it's probably a good time to stop as much as I want to keep on continuing because I love this game. Um, yeah, we probably should stop for a bit, and then, let's see, how many of these do we have? A billion? A billion. Wait, did I have zero? Really? Oh. Okay. Alright, good to get some then. Good to get some. Uh, and we'll do the green chips, um, in the next episode. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.